Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across, screenwriter Ben who wrote Angels Over Broadway. Ooh, I definitely don't think I know this person. Let's look at the downs here. This and that dish. Hmm, I wonder if that's going to be oleo? Like a mixture of things? I'm not 100% sure though. Humorist Bombeck. That was Irma Bombeck. Yeah, she had a humor newspaper column. Helix. Hmm, like a spiral? Like a DNA double helix? Hmm, how could you describe that? I'm not sure. It definitely doesn't seem like this should be an O though. Yeah, so this is not gonna be Oleo. Loud as a crowd. Maybe that could be a roar? Yeah, they're roaring. Okay, directive before you're on candid camera. Is that gonna be smile? It's smile you're on candid camera, right? Nice, okay. Hmm. Well, maybe with this extra crossing help we can get this down. Maybe this is going to be a coil? Yeah. And then, ooh, we've got an asterisk here. This has gotta be a theme answer. Description of a glass, maybe. Hmm, that's interesting. It's not gonna be fragile. I wonder if this is the revealer here. Hmm. Girl Scout emblem. Hmm. Is this like the logo of the Girl Scouts? I wanna say it's like a flower maybe? I'm not sure. Hmm. Description of a glass maybe again. And it's pointing to a different clue here. Very interesting. Hmm, and I don't know this screenwriter. Well, let's move over to this section. Maybe we'll be able to get a little bit of help on the end of this theme answer here. Wanna blank? That could be wanna bet, maybe. Cry like a baby? That should be ball. Lift up is maybe elate? And nickname for a wrangler? That could be tex, probably. So we have Allah, firefighter's tool. That should be ax. Oh, and we have a typo here. It's not tax, it's tex. And then this should be exalt instead, maybe? Lift up? I don't know. Maybe this is exalt instead of exalt. Yeah, because if you're exalting, you yourself are really happy. But this is asking about lifting something else up or someone else up. So this should be exalt. Yeah, you're like praising someone else. Ooh, that was tricky. Okay, so this is gonna be wax. Medium at Madame Tussauds. Yes, they have wax celebrities. Okay, does that help at all with a description of a glass? Hmm, not really, not yet. A long, long time. That could be an eon, maybe? Yeah. I wonder if we can build on this down. Not being utilized, say. I wonder if it starts with un. Hmm. What's this across here? Perpetrate as a crime. That has to be commit, right? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe we can build down off of commit. The mating game? And this is wordplay, so I guess it's not about finding a partner. The mating game. I think the pun has to be about mating. Hmm. Is it like memory, like a matching game? I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like that's quite right. Energy informally. And it starts with an O. Hmm. Wavy fabric pattern. That just showed up on Monday. Yeah, that's Moray. All right, maybe we can build off of Moray here. Fuss. 
Is this an ado? That kind of fuss? Or is it about fussing over something? I'm not sure. Put out. Put out could mean extinguishing something. It could also mean like inconveniencing someone. Hmm. Moving well for one's age. That's always spry. Okay. Blank sells seashells by the seashore. That starts with she. Okay, so what is this? The mating game. Oh my god, it's chess. It was about a game. Much more complicated than memory, though. Because you make checkmates in chess, right? The mating game. That's fantastic. Okay, so maybe this is oomph? Give it some oomph? Yeah. Put out could be emit. Yeah, you're literally sending something out. Okay, fuss could be hoopla, maybe? I certainly never expected there to be this much hoopla, and you can quote me on that. Okay, um, maybe this is gonna be half empty, and this'll be half full? That's interesting. So is this gonna be pessimist and optimist crossing down here? I bet it is. Half empty. Half full. That's a very interesting construction that you've got these two kind of paired intersections here. All right, let's put in optimist. <laughs> nice, okay, and then this is gonna be pessimist, right? Okay, so it looks like we have even more theme answers. Excellent, we have something to look forward to. Pessimist. Nice, all right, let's work towards this one over here. Actually, we should fill out these last two squares here if we can. Um, is this a trefoil? I think I've seen that word before. Is that the logo with the three faces on it? The kind of silhouette faces? I think maybe that's what that's talking about, yeah. Okay, um, hmm, maybe it's a mash? A hash? Yikes. I don't know this person. You know what, we'll probably have to save this till last. I imagine it's probably an H though, that's my guess. All right, let's work towards this next theme answer here. Lion colored, that could be tawny. Very nice, that's a great adjective. Okay, one of two extremes in a saying. Hmm, and this is what the pessimist would think? I wonder, identifies with the answers. Hmm, I'm still not sure about this one. Let's see if we can build off of this Y. Enlighten, so you're giving someone knowledge? Hmm, I wonder if this last letter will help here. Let's try and get that. Eldest of the Baldwin brothers? Yeah, that's Alec Baldwin. Thanks, it's just what I've always wanted, often. <laughs> Is that a little white lie during the holiday season? I think so, okay. So we have an E. Hmm, I don't know. This is tough. You know what, let's work back down here. Maybe if we get the opposite down here, it'll make getting the one on top a lot easier. All right. Blank Jaibo. 2003 to 13 premiere of China. Oh man, um, I wanna say it's Li maybe? Is that right? Hmm, word in a classic Tolstoy title. And it's a word that a pessimist would identify with. That should be war and peace probably, right? I think the pessimist would definitely identify with war. Okay, so this is not Lee. What is this? Is it Wei? Wei Jiabao? Oh boy. I don't know if two eyes is very likely here. Sommelier's handout. A sommelier is somebody at a winery, right? They would probably give you a wine list. So this is Wen Jiabao. Shoot, yeah, I don't think I knew that name. Okay, so this is the counterpart of war. That's definitely peace, okay. 
What was this down again? Not being utilized. Okay, so maybe that's gonna be untapped. Number, it's good to be under. It's good to be under par if you're playing golf, yeah. Grub could be eats. Finalized could be set. Caught in a trap. Hmm, is it a sand trap? I don't think so. Caught in a trap, hmm. Thus, that could be and so. Maybe this is snared? Yeah. Italian cheese city. Oh boy, I'm pretty bad with cheese. Let's skip that one. Carrier name until 1997. Hmm. It's not Pan Am. Really? Hmm. Did they go under before 1997? Certain forecast. Ooh, this is an optimist's forecast. Okay. I want to say it's going to be like rain or shine. And this is going to be shine. Yeah, that looks really good. Is this going to be rain here? Yeah, certain forecast. That looks like rain for sure. All right, we're getting the hang of this. Italian cheese city. Okay, so maybe this is going to be Parma, as in Parmesan. Kisser could be a puss, <laughs> like your face. Yeah, that's so funny, like a sour puss. Okay. Cinder covered could be ashy. Is this US Air? Man, I don't even know if I've heard of that airline. That's funny. Okay, so this is gonna be amino acid, it looks like. And this is Synod, church council. Yeah, that's kind of arcane church language there. Okay, that didn't really help us because it seems like the pairs here are crossing each other. So I wonder if the actual opposite is gonna be up here somewhere? Let's see if we can find it, actually. Yeah, so this is the other extreme here. Hmm, and it's paired with this one. This is kind of ambiguous, it's just in a saying. Let's see if we can get some of these other downs here. October contest for a pennant. Hmm, um, well, they have baseball playoffs in October. I wonder if it's gonna be like a National League game or something. Maybe it's like NLCS, that would be the National League Championship Series. It could also be the ALCS, the American League. Um, let's leave this blank actually. I'm feeling pretty good about the end of this though. Words sung twice after K, maybe K sera sera, whatever will be will be. Ancient siege site. Hmm. Um, maybe that's Troy, a very specific site. Yeah. Let's see if we can build on these acrosses here. Grace's last name on Will and Grace. I never watched that show. I don't know. Prefix with aggression. That could be a microaggression. Like maybe yawning at someone like we had on the Sunday puzzle. <laughs> okay. Suppose an equivalent phrase. Um, I would want this to be let's say, like you're proposing a hypothetical. Maybe it'll be if say, that's kind of the same thing, right? Yeah, you're about to describe an imaginary scenario. Okay. Um, boy, I'm still not sure. Enlighten could be edify, there we go, yeah. You're educating someone about something. Okay, excellent. Um, so this is gonna be an N or an A. Hmm. I think an N is pretty unlikely. Let's put that A in there. Um, is it least? Beast? Hmm. This looks like it's gonna be Adler, right? Hmm. A-M-I-N-E. I don't think it can be an L. Oh, you know what it's going to be? It's going to be feast or famine. Excellent. Yeah, those are definitely appropriate opposites. All right, let's put that F in there. 
All right, I think that might be our last theme answer. Let's finish off this southeast corner here. Kind of stick. A pogo stick? That word's shown up quite a lot lately. I think that's our third pogo stick in the last month. The Greek of film. Is that Zorba the Greek? I know I've heard of that. I haven't seen that movie though. Goad. Maybe that's egg on. Nary a soul could be no one. Let's just make sure this Zen is correct here. Kind of state. Yeah, you can be in a Zen state, especially while crosswording. Ergo is thus. Yeah. Is this Lisbon? Home of the Vasco da Gama Bridge over 7.5 miles long. Whoa, that is huge. Hopefully we get to see a photo of that. That's amazing. All right, not at all reasonable. That's got to be insane. Like the Vasco da Gama Bridge, yeah. Okay, grade school subject. That's going to be science. What's the down here? Stirs up could be in sights. Maybe as you would a bunch of hoopla. Or a fuss, yeah. Moved like molasses, that could be oozed. Let's see if we can build off this Z. A dupa of Mrs. America. Shoot, you know what? I know I've seen this name before. I think it's escaping me now though. Let's see if we can get some crossing hell. Some kitchenware. I guess could be pots maybe? Yeah. After tax should be net. That's your profits, yeah. Face cards for short. And this is wordplay, so it's not going to be about a deck of playing cards. Maybe this is going to be IDs. Those are cards that have your face on them, right? Very funny. Place of higher education to Brits. I think that would be uni, short for university. So this is Yuzo Aduba. I do believe I've seen this name before, yeah. Hopefully if I see it a couple more times, it'll stick. Okay. Certain church gift, that's gonna be a tithe. That would be 10% of your net, possibly, yeah. These in Spanish, okay. Um, I think this can be a few things. It can be estes or estas, I think. Um, let's put in estas. I think that's maybe more likely here. Let's see if that's right. Place for a lace. That should be shoe. Oh man, it's estos. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's always a gamble on which vowel this is going to be. Okay. Teeny tiny. That's going to be itty. And Blank Garretson, author of Romantic Thrillers. I definitely don't know this. It looks like it might be Tess. Yeah, Ocular Woe should be Styes. So it is Tess Garretson. And then we're left with this last square up here. We thought it was going to be H, right? Yeah, I think that's the most likely Ben Hecht. Yeah, let's put that H in there and see if that does it for us. All right, a Wednesday puzzle in 25 minutes. I guess you could say that's pretty good if you're an optimist, or maybe it's a little slow if you're a pessimist, yeah. This was a cute little theme. I liked all these pairs of opposing viewpoints. We had rain or shine, war and peace, feast or famine, and half full or half empty for the pessimist or the optimist viewpoint. Yeah, that was pretty nice. And this theme density is pretty good too. Yeah, it's pretty cool that they noticed that all of these kind of related opposites could be crossed at one of their letters here. Yeah, that's pretty cool, including pessimist and optimist. There were some nice rare words on the grid today. I liked the pair of edify and exalt. And I think my favorite entry on the puzzle today was trefoil. Yeah, the Girl Scout emblem. That's such a unique word. I love that. And I also really like the wordplay clue on chess here. The mating game. Sounds like a very spicy game of chess. All right, well, what else can we say about this puzzle? You either loved it or hated it. I certainly hope you loved solving this one along with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee themed puzzle of the week, the Thursday. And I think that's going to do it for now.
All right, I'll see you next time.